like these from China cities in lockdown, becoming now familiar across the globe following new deaths caused by the novel coronavirus. Asia remains the continent hardest hit by the outbreak. On Sunday, South Korea raised its disease alert level to the highest possible. There are hundreds of registered cases in the country and the number of new infections is still surging. I'm concerned, as there are a lot of people infected now. But I think there would not be so many infections if people took better care of their individual hygiene, kept themselves updated with the news or official announcements, and stayed away from crowded places. Meanwhile, the COVID-19, commonly known as the coronavirus, is becoming increasingly political. In Iran, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini accused Iran's enemies of spreading propaganda about the virus online in order to stifle voting in Saturday's parliamentary election. You know how massively they worked, using various platforms to lower voter turnout. The last pretext they resorted to was this coronavirus, which has scared many. However, Iranians accuse their leadership of hiding the real scope of the outbreak. We don't know what's true and what's false, since the government is constantly lying to us. Health experts say maintaining a healthy immune system is key to fighting off the virus. Protective masks are now the dominant picture of residents on alert. In the Philippines, this wedding reception even required attendees to wear facial protection. As the global coronavirus outbreak still needs to be contained, taking care of one's personal hygiene has for some become the ultimate expression of love. Authorities in Italy have imposed a travel ban on about a dozen towns in the north of the country. An effort to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Two people in Italy infected with the virus have died. And officials there are reporting about another 80 confirmed cases. Some 50,000 people are affected by the lockdown, which is near the city of Milan. The small town of Codogno is at the epicentre of the outbreak there. The streets of Codogno were empty on Saturday evening. People in a dozen towns in northern Italy were told to stay indoors after a local woman died, presumably from the coronavirus. We still can't say whether she died of the coronavirus or whether she had the coronavirus and died from other causes, because no autopsy or other tests have been performed yet. Officials confirmed the number of infected persons in the Lombardy region is growing. What I can say is that the number of people infected in our region has risen to 39. Masks sold out, said these signs at a pharmacy in the center of Codogno earlier on Saturday. The town's train station was also eerily empty. Hospitals in the region have been taking strong precautions. In nearby Cremona, health workers set up a first aid unit in front of the hospital for people who arrive believing they may be infected. As fears grow, towns like Codogno look set to remain largely deserted until the virus is brought under control. Well, for more, I'm joined by virologist Martin Sturmer in Frankfurt. Professor Sturmer, thanks for joining me. It, it seems that the source of the outbreak in Italy is still unclear. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, possible person, the contact person, uh, has been in China, of course, but this person has been tested negative for the virus and the person claimed that he had no symptoms at all. So um, this is, makes it more unlikely that uh, this is a contact person. However, there's one possible um, explanation. Uh, it depends on when the meeting uh, between these two persons uh, was um, maybe some days ago. And maybe at this time, the person still was positive for the virus and recovered in the meantime. And that it's the only explanation I have up to now to explain this cluster. 
Right. And Italian authorities are taking some serious precautionary measures to try and to contain this outbreak. Are they making the right decision there? Uh, they, they do the best they can. They try to avoid person-to-person -person contact as much as possible and they try to avoid people traveling into this region and traveling outside this region. So they do the best they can, actually. And Chinese authorities are reporting that the incubation period, which was originally thought to be two weeks, could actually be a lot longer. How likely is that? Uh, it's a single case. It was a 70 years old man and he had uh, 27 days no symptoms but uh, positive virus uh, tests. So although it's a single case, it, it, it shows us that it um, might be even more complicated to get the virus under control. Yeah. One of the latest countries to be affected by the outbreak is Iran with 20, 28 mm -hmm. confirmed cases at the moment and six deaths. How serious is the situation there? Yeah, I think it's serious because if you calculate the numbers of deaths compared to the numbers of infected people they report, for me it seems that we have more people infected without knowing that actually. So it, it's serious there, yeah. With the exception of Egypt, um, Africa hasn't been yet affected by um, the outbreak, mm. but the World Health Organization has warned that uh, African health systems are, aren't well equipped enough to cope with a potential outbreak. What needs to mm -hmm. be done there? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the best way is to, to spend as much uh, efforts uh, and as much money as we can to, to prepare them for, for, being, for, for having the virus in, in their countries. However, I'm not sure whether it's, it's possible. Um, we hope, hopefully, the virus will not come to Africa.